Hello, lovelies. I am here in front of my great work. <laughs> I have finally gotten my iron farm to work and my kelp farm. I um, did a little more research on the iron farm and figured out um, that just my bed situation was the main issue. I did also put all of the villagers together, but yeah, there's been a lot of off-camera work. I am starting a squid farm now that I have the iron to make hoppers. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's take a quick wall tour around my iron farm here first. And then I'll show you some other things that have happened. So, within the actual, like, villager area, um, again, I kind of, um, just put, put, uh, everyone in one space. I did put workspaces in here, um, but I did some more research and they are not needed anymore in, I guess, 1.19. Um, yeah, but it's nighttime, so they're sleeping. They just have their little room here. Um, there are various ways you can do this. It's not super efficient, um, because I think a lot of farms, they have the zombie, like, bouncing or somehow hidden so that they get only, like, a few seconds of sleep every night and then continue to produce iron golems, if that's how... If I'm understanding that properly. But yeah, that's just kind of the little layout up in here. And then you can see down at the bottom, which is of water flowing. Um, I can use iron now. This is how I got the villagers and the zombie over here from the village. It was, it was a trip for sure. But yeah, I normally, let's see. I normally keep just like some dirt up in here because the golems will spawn in three tall spaces and uh, so I'm just trying to keep every space in here at least too tall. I tried building a little AFK stream but it didn't work even though I followed a tutorial. But hey, more nice water sounds, right? Um, but then down here you can see so the way i've kind of done the water that's working really well is all of these are source blocks except for let's see if i can get out there and show you yeah except for that corner there so that all the water ends up flowing over there in addition there is one source block in that corner just to kind of bring everything right here into that corner um obviously we have all the signs set up here along with some lava um so the golems end up just being washed into this lava they burn their iron drops and then it goes right down here into that hopper you can't really see it very well um i did have to block it off with this because things were overshooting the hopper um but then that just goes right down into this chest which i just emptied out um but i afk'd for a couple of hours and got almost four stacks of iron which isn't a ton but at, at least compared to you know some other farms i've seen but yeah this is my nice little afk spot it's pretty cool i like it um but yeah it it works a treat if you will i've now slept so you can hear that golem burning so, this is the only place where they can spawn when that dirt is is up in there. Um, because every other space, I guess except for maybe this couple pieces, are two, only two blocks tall. Um, I made a little tunnel to get out. Um, so, this kind of goes beyond that 16 block radius. And, yeah. Let's hope no mobs get me. I've had a couple of creeper incidents lately. Um, I've been growing some acacia trees out here because I need a bunch of hoppers for this squid farm over here. Um, which you can see I'm just... Sounded like he was after me for a moment there. Um, 
I am just starting to like uh, clear the water out. It's kind of inefficient right now, but I do have a bunch of tough on me um, because I went mining for diamonds. I had an incident with a golem where my fortune two pick was on me and got destroyed in the lava uh, while I was fine tuning the <laughs> iron farm. So I'm hoping to get that back soonish. Um, but I did need more diamonds, so I went strip mining for a little while, and I have a bunch of tough, which should make that process faster. This is my kelp farm here. I haven't checked on it for a while, so I don't know how much we've got. Yeah, we've got a bit. Um, I've been putting it in here and making kelp blocks and cooking stuff up, and yeah, all that. I have beds everywhere at this point. It's ridiculous. Um, one thing that I did have to do for the iron farm uh, was this. I now understand why people will put them up in the air, and I do have plans to do that later. Not in this location, though. But yeah, I had to cover all this land with water that's too deep. So if anyone has any suggestions for what to do with this, I would love to hear them. Because, like... It's basically just a cool swimming pool right now. That's about it. But yeah. It worked. I left the trees in there. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. Kind of fun. So that's kind of what I've got going on here right now. I've got a couple of um, things that we'll be doing over the next few days for me. Over the next few minutes for you guys. Um... But yeah, I'm just going to kind of close off that area for the squid farm. I don't know if I'm going to try to drain the river yet, as sponges aren't a thing for me. But I do need that black dye for an upcoming project. I have... Oh yeah, I lost my uh, chest plate thing um, in the iron golem incident too. But I um, have a couple of projects that are going to be super fun. But also maybe a little time consuming. But I I am definitely well on the way to working on that. I figured since I uh, have a little bit more time to spend on this episode, ultimately, um, with a two-week break between this one and the last one, that I would go ahead and uh, work on that a little bit and just like get all that prep work done. But that's where we are right now. Um... Yeah, I choo -choo 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 -choo. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it is crazy over here. It's insanely loud. Eh, let's grab some XP. Ugh. and trading items. It's great. Alright, and then my favorite thing. Dual wielding eggs. It's ridiculous. Anyways. I have a couple of things I want to work on at some point in this episode. Uh, we had a creeper incident. <laughs> um, but I want to go to the nether. Um, now that I have a silk touch pick anyways, uh, grab some nicelium and uh, start growing some... Really what I'm going for is the shroom lights, but, you know, I'll take the other stuff too. Um... And, yeah, um, then we're going to actually move our base of operations, I think. If you remember, we had, I look so awkward with these pants and boots on. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. What the heck? Um, if you remember, though, a couple of episodes ago, 
No, last episode, last episode. We went up and we found the prettiest place in this entire world. I don't know if that's actually true, but uh, I really liked it. And I think I'm going to move my base of operations up to that snowy villages area. Um, so I, it just, it reminds me so much of where I grew up, which I don't get to, you know, live there right now, which sucks. I'm trying, I'm trying to go back, but I haven't made it yet. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it's just a really lovely place and I have some good ideas for building. Um, yeah. So we'll work on relocating there in this episode. I don't know if we'll get there completely, but I have a few uh, ideas that can help us get started anyways. So, let's get cracking. Hello, my good people. Is anybody, ah, there's a person. Huh. Her. Oh yes, yes. I I will I will do. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm a fan of that. Um. I feel like we could do a bit more. All right. I've been getting. I say so much coal. I haven't been getting so much coal, but thank you, good sir. I made another librarian, dude. He has infinity, huh? which like is cool, but I really want mending. A wandering trader stopped by earlier and he didn't have anything that I wanted. I really would like to get some cactus because I have yet to find a desert in any playthrough of Minecraft, but um... Yeah, I I really want that green dye. Um, but I did manage to snag a lead from one of his llamas, so... Anyways, I'm going to continue grinding through this. I'll see you later. Hello, lovelies. Alright, so I uh, am a little further into making my squid farm. Um, I actually haven't been working for a few days. I've just gotten back from my trip. It was lovely. Anyways, um, it started raining as I began this recording, so that's exciting. Ugh. I don't like the rain in Minecraft. It's not my favorite thing. Anyways, um, yeah. So, this is where I am on the squid farm. I'm currently digging down to, um, Y42. And that's kind of the level where squid can spawn. So the top level there is, I want to say, 63. And then we go down to 43 or 45. 45, that's the one. Yeah. So I'm going to keep digging. Um, I'll maybe take you along with me for a few more things throughout the day. There's not a lot going on. I've just been digging. It's kind of actually ridiculous. But yeah, this is the space I'm working in. So, yeah. Alright. Looks like it's time to go sleep real quick, though. So, before we sleep, I always go check on my iron supply, just to make sure that my villagers have had a moment to sleep anyways. Uh, that's not all the iron I have. I've also got iron in here, plus all these hoppers that I made. So, our, our farm's been working for sure. It's been putting the hours in. All right. So first, I'm going to work on a little staircase, I think, down to layer 45. The dangerous game of digging straight down. No going back now. Huh. Okay. Usually, I don't think it's a huge deal this close to the surface, but right there in front of the chest, eh? 
All right, then. That works for me. This chest holds many of the fruits of our labors. So much, so much. As I go deeper, I am going to um, put a scaffolding in. If I could lean dramatically on my pickaxe for effect, I would. Oh, that takes me back to uh, the teenage dramatic herbalist days, leaning on my shovel after a long day of gardening. <sighs> Anyways, um, yeah, I've gone down one layer. We are at, I think, layer 51 now, so that's... That's exciting. Oh well, it's gonna be a day of grinding today, I think. Anyways, if only I had some TNT, I uh, have actually thought about making a, uh, just a general mob farm, seeing if I can't, wow, seeing if I can't um, get something like that going to get some, some gunpowder for TNT. But, like, if I were to do that, let's make this as little pain as possible. I also would need sand for that, and I've been saving sand for a special project that I'm excited about. Um, but I also... I feel like TNT would speed this up so much. <sighs> I wonder if this is our last layer of dirt in here. Hoping my shovel will hold out. Okay, so as you can see, I put torches on top of my little stacks of sand. These mark the edges of my glass platform up there. I thought that was clever. We'll we'll see if it actually uh, brings the light down with us as we go, or if it breaks. I don't know. We'll see what le we learn, I suppose. Moment of truth. Ugh. No, it doesn't work. Dang it. I'll just have to replace them as I go around. You know, I'm getting the vibe that my inventory is full, so let's take care of that. This chest is going to be full in like zero time flat. I'm going to run back and sleep at the iron farm tonight so that I can grab more iron to keep making tools. It is nice that I don't have to... Um, use stone tools anymore. Iron is abundant enough that I can just use that. Use that instead. Right. I'll just put that back in there. Do we have any other wood in here? I'm going to take that with me. <sighs> Alright then. Back to sleep it is. This is quite a large coal vein. That's exciting. Well, listen to me trying to convince myself that things are exciting. <laughs> this is literally the dullest thing. Oh, that's water. Oh, dang. That's exciting. worry about that in a minute. 
Well, that's annoying. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, according to the tutorial that I'm following, as best I can anyways, <laughs> um, we're getting close to the point of putting down these fence gates. So, I went ahead and grabbed those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, burn. You little bugger. S my apologies for sounding so tired. I am actually very tired. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. But meanwhile, we continue. Well, beautiful. All right, we're actually down at level 44 here. Um, I can't tell where the holes are. I'm going to go take a look. Also, I've been hearing a skeleton. I guess there must be a cave right next to, right next to our digging site. I do understand why a colored glass was used in the tutorial. That uh, makes life a lot easier, I think. Unfortunately, I didn't have any dyes to color with, so. Um, we're, at, we're at level 44, like I said, I think. Um, so I'm gonna have to place one block. So that's 174. So 178. Ah, here we go. All right. And there we have it. So now we can start placing fence gates. I think all of them are open, which is exciting. I'm going to go take a quick nap if I can. Apparently not. All right. Well, the next bit is to just keep digging for a little while. So see you on the other side. I'm not going to go nearly as deep as the tutorial said because I think he wanted the squids to die completely on their way dropping through the air, and I'm honestly not that concerned about it. I guess I should have some tools, huh? Alright, I am trying to decide if I'm going to go down any farther. I mean, it's a lot higher than what's given in the tutorial, but I honestly don't think that there's a... Oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. I don't think that there's an actual reason for going all the way down to level level 29 um, as far as I can tell which maybe that's not a great uh, metric to go by because I uh, obviously don't know what I'm doing here You know, 
hopefully that's the last water I have to deal with. Last water I had to deal with. <laughs> So, I think I need to go in two, there we go, and we're going to place one there just for a temporary troop. Same over there, and go troop. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That looks right. Almost. Oh my goodness. Maybe not? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You know what? It's whatever. Three, four, five, six. And then we're going to do that on the other side. Two, three, four, five, six. And then. I think I'm going to run out of hoppers. I think I lost a couple. Oh, they probably. You know where they probably are. And one of these guys. Yep. <laughs> I'm so smart. <sighs> well. Alright. Then the next order of business is to put down slabs on top. Alright, our next order of business Actually, you know what? I'm going to place some chests right now Just because I think that's going to make my life easier later So we're going to go doop, doop, and doop There we go, yay But you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the exciting part that I have been looking forward to this whole entire time. <laughs> um, yeah. So, let's see. I've got so many random water sources at this point. Let's just grab from here. And we're going to start filling in our water. Fingers crossed that I have all my numbers right. Crap. That's not how that's supposed to look. What did I do wrong? <sighs> well, obviously, it is something to do with our fence gates there. So, I suppose what we're going to have to do is tear them down and put them back. I should have checked the coordinates on that hole first. Triple checked. Double checked. I don't even know. Let's see. This is, I think, the very first fence gate we put down. Right there. Um, 179.103. Guess what? It's raining again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. There's been a lot of there's been a lot of rain um, today for some reason. Huh. Anyways, I have kind of figured out the squid farm thing. 
Um, so if you come with me, um, you can see that it does still spread out across the bottom, but you know, doesn't doesn't seem to be an issue. Um, yeah, I replaced the the fence gate thing with this uh, pattern of signs, and if we take a little meander down here. See, it is open underneath. They drop through and suffocate down here. Um, that includes fish as well as squid. So I am getting some ink, but not a ton. Um, it's not the most efficient thing in the world, but hey, I think it will help and we'll eventually get that material for the build I want to do. Um, you know what I want to do though? Since I have some fish, is I want to go find a kitty. Because I need a friend. And I wasn't able to get the doggo last time. But yeah, I made it an AFK tower there. So I think that should, um, still be near enough my iron farm as well so that's fun and I think that functions pretty well so I'm pretty excited about that oh I should have brought some clay to trade with the stonemason where are my villagers seriously where is everybody Oh, hello, good sir. Do you want some coal? I've done a lot of coal lately. I'll trade you for some coal. Alright then. Lovely doing business with you. Please excuse my horrible, awful, terrible, no good, very bad accent. But I want to find a kitty. Where's that cool cave up there? I'm gonna explore that at some point. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. How about no, dog? I do love dogs, but kitties are my first love anyway, so. They haven't been super, like, there haven't been a lot of cats around this village. Oh my goodness. The iron golem bath time. You guys having fun in there? <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Should give them a walk to step out. I feel like they'd like that. Plus, it would keep the village safer. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 They haven't walked a step out. They're just dumb. I love iron golems, but they're very dumb. Is there a kitty, 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 kitty anywhere? Huh? Huh? She has channeling. I was thinking about possibly, let's see, I have wood on me, yeah, so, possibly breaking this, because that guy currently gives, um, infinity, I think, I could have gotten an infinity first, but, eh, it's whatever. 
seriously, where, where, where are the kitties here? There just aren't kitties. I've only even seen a couple at all. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Do cats just like spawn in naturally? Like, is there any way to trigger a cat spawn? I just want a kitty. Well, that's stupid. It makes me sad. <sighs> Guess I'm just gonna go over and AFK a little bit. Get some of those resources. Alright, we have AFK'd at the squid farm for a little while, so uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in the spoils, but, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. Um, I, I, I really was really wishing that, like, I would get closer to being able to go do my fun building project, but hey. Um, I realized that before I can really start on that, I have a couple of things that need to be done. So I want to build a creeper farm. I was inspired by these gunpowders, which, guess what? I didn't obtain them by blowing other creepers up with creepers. Like, has been normal for me. No! I killed them with my own handy dandy bow. I do need more arrows though, or infinity, and I replaced the librarian who does infinity. It's alright, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that in this episode. I'm probably going to do it mostly off camera, but I have a design that I found that I'm going to try using. But, we have a couple of other things, um... Mainly, I want shroom lights. So, we're probably going to take a little trip to the nether. Now that I have some silk touch, grab some nycelium, um, and grab a few things just to work on getting some shroom lights. I don't think I'm going to do any sort of automated farm or anything like that. I also need to find a desert because... TNT, that, that's why I want the creeper farm. I need some TNT because otherwise uh, my plans involve a lot of digging. And after doing this whole thing, no, no, nah, -uh, no. <laughs> so, <sighs> let's go start doing some collection. As you can see in these chests. My squid farm's not very efficient at all. But hey, it's it's a start. I might do a couple of like overnight AFKs here, but now that I've figured out things like my render distance and what works for that and all those types of things, it's amazing. Um I also have chests full of resources, which are gonna be great for, you know, making a creeper farm. So, uh, again, I'm not going to do that right now, but let's go do a little bit of trading before I continue on my way. Right. Oh, look at the village. It's not particularly bustling. Oops. <laughs> 
I, I, I might need to. Hello, good sir. Are you my stonemason? You're my armorer. I still don't know what they all look like because my stonemason lives over in this house. Good sir. Good sir. Good sir. Hello. I have so much clay for you. I was thinking about keeping it for myself, but. <gasps> what can I get from him as a novice? Is the question. Is there anything I can get from you? Do I have to buy from you? Does that, does that, does that change things? <gasps> oh, well, you'll give me more. Do, do we not get to make any other trades, though? Oh, is that what? <gasps> Yay! Oh, he takes stone. Ooh, fancy. Fancy! Oh, yeah, cause, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see where things went. There. All right, well, we're going to continue this trade, then. All right. Well, thank you, my good sir. And you have channeling. Honestly, I, I want to change that, too. But let's first see if our other librarian has become himself. They take a bath. Do we have another librarian around? Our, our villagers seem to have, um, possibly reduced in numbers, which isn't the best news for this village. <gasps> no! Oh, I'm dumb. I don't have potatoes or carrots or anything like that. And I think that's a bit of an issue. I love me a good carrot. Actually, I don't. I'm allergic to carrots. Um, people are always surprised by that. It is an unusual allergy. But my hands get, like, really painful bumps all over them when I eat or touch carrots. It's exciting. But in Minecraft, I like carrots. All right. This is all our villagers now. Let's, 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 let's take care of that. Let's change that. Where have our farmers gone? Everybody's just gone. Is it because, is it because I've left, oh no, this is my fault for being too close to the village, isn't it? No. Oh, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. <sighs> well. I suppose we'll have to get to work there, then. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! Good, good, good. That is a good. That is a very good. Have at it. Oh. Yes, take it. Yes, take it. Please do. This is all for you. Oh, did he make you angry, or was that just the torch? Okay, we're having a village meeting in here. It seems... How are we feeling? Yeah, let's let those let those feelings out there. Is that a child? That's another child. Good, 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 good. 
and we're going to break that and place it again. Oh, hello, little, little thing, you. One thing that I want to do is start a little farm of giant spruce trees. So let's actually take that down while we're right here because I am planning to use lots of spruce in my exciting new build. Which hopefully someday I'll get to. Okay, there's one. And I might move a full-on little spruce farm down in some nook somewhere. Maybe over on this spot. <gasps> is this, this is where I was exploring a little right at the very beginning, I think. I don't even know. I can barely recognize this place from that. Yes, hello, I would like to make an inquiry as to just how many saplings you think you can, you can drop this time around. I, I would, I would really love a nice full collection right away. I know that's probably unreasonable, a little unrealistic, but, but, but maybe? <laughs> Nothing as dull or nerve-wracking as watching leaves despawn. I think we're probably going to get three at the most from this. What does they say? A watched leaf never despawns? <sighs> well, I'll come check it in a minute. Oh, did they despawn finally? Alright, let's see if we have any extra helpfulness. <sighs> well then, we'll just plant one there, and one there, and then go on our merry little way. The sun always looks so very large at the edge of my screen. Hello, lovelies. Editing herbalist here again. Um, once again, oh no, I almost walked into the water there. Once again, I ended up making a episode that was too long. Um, I'm also over here because I've done a lot of work in a bunch of different places around like my base and there are spoilers everywhere. So, um, yeah. With that said, I am splitting the episode right here, um, but instead of uploading today, I'm going to upload the second episode from this recording session a little bit later this week, so I'm thinking that'll probably be either Tuesday or Wednesday, so be on the lookout for that. Um... Yeah, this was a good episode. Um, I'm still a little disappointed in my squid farm, but it's fine. We won't talk about it. We won't dwell on that. Anyways, the next episode has a little bit more amounts of exciting things and another exploration and just various fun things like that. Anyways... If you are watching before Wednesday, be sure to keep keep an eye out for that. And if you're watching later, well, head right on over to episode 8. I will see you over there. Bye!